you're feeling like you have a lot to say lately and not sure how to say it, grab your brush and empty canvas and paint your thoughts and feelings and emotions onto the canvas. Let yourself go. You never know what will emerge. Embody them into the layers of your canvas. My painting started out one way and in the end I got out my spray bottle and paper towels and went to town unleashing my raw self. Hi guys and welcome back to Art and Soul Studios. I'm Karen Zima. Today I think we're going to work on a portrait. Well, in fact I know we're going to work on a portrait. I already sketched it out. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of landscapes, birds, animals, but I thought I'm itching to get back to doing another portrait. Now she looks very pensive. She's looking off in the distance like something's on her mind. She's going to have bright red hair. And for the background, I think I'm going to go with more of a grungy lilac. Uh, I know a peacock blue and some greens would work, even a yellow, beige. There's a lot of colors that would work. But for some reason, I'm thinking the lilac would look about the best. So, stay tuned, and I'll show you how we're going to progress on this portrait. If I can do it, you can do it. Stay tuned. Fleshy stuff I would use in a flesh tone. Some white and a black. A cerulean blue. A light pink. It's like a gold, golden uh, yellow ochre. An orange, a honeysuckle pink. There is just a cadmium yellow medium. And a kind of red is that? Cadmium red. And those are all the colors we're going to start with. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is mix up a nice light flesh tone. She does have red hair, so we can't go too dark with the skin. They usually um, have lighter skin, so we will work on that. So get like this pink color. Let's add some white. Let's just get the shape down so that it's right. 
that is that order I want them. Now for the eye color, I mean, uh, this part of the eye is not white. You take a little white though. Put a little blue in it. And a little pink. And a little more pink. Tones in the hair, tones in the skin. Uh, 
I want to get the lilac background in so I can like see to pull it all together because I don't like to just do it at the end. I like to have a good feel for how the colors are going to go next to each other. So what we're going to do is get our background. So I'm just wetting that to make it a little easier to put on. I don't want it to drip too much. Okay, we're not into the drippy look today. So I'm not going to lie.
step back and take a look. I'm happy with it. Uh, it's a different technique. It uh, made it grunt here towards the end. Uh, she was, she had more defined hair, but I kind of crunched it out, faded it, so it just looks more real. And uh, just had a good time reading it. I hope you had a good time watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be making a lot more videos in the future and you want to get notifications when they come in. So keep on practicing, guys. Until next time.